Today, there are an estimated 34 million people worldwide living with HIV and AIDS. Now, it's a frightening disease, but today there are many new therapies and approaches that can help p keep people with HIV healthy. We're very fortunate here in Monroe County to have an organization that's on a mission to reduce the impact of the HIV infection throughout Monroe County. Mark, thank you for being on the show with me today. Hey, thank you for ha having me. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure. It's wonderful having you here. And Mark, where do we stand right now on the fight against HIV? Uh, the war goes on. People are still dying, although not in the numbers that we saw, but uh, the war goes on. You know, there is no cure. Uh, the only cure for AIDS is complete abstinence. Uh, from from uh, sex, from life itself, and so we know that that's not realistic. So, you know, um, part of our thing is we're still fighting to make people aware that HIV is a real threat, a threat to your existence, a threat to your health, and um, that's part of my job. Mm -hmm. And you're part of the education department at AIDS Help. Why is the education department so important, Mark? Well, you know, Education is vital, especially here in Monroe County, where we know that one out of 59 men in Monroe County are infected with HIV. Now, that's, if that isn't scary enough, um, statistically, I mean, you mentioned earlier, 34 million people are living with HIV and AIDS. 36 million people have died. Now, that's an overwhelming number. The number that we're seeing right now of uh, new infections uh, is disproportionate, of course, to men who have sex with men, gay men, bisexual men, men who have sex with men, or what we term MSM. Education, the education department at AIDS Help, our mission is to um, test people, to find people who are infected with HIV, because if you don't know you're infected, you could possibly be infecting other people. Mm -hmm. We're also there to um, get the information out to help people understand that to play safe is to protect your life. Mm -hmm. That's so true. To play safe is to protect your right. life. And now testing, I know, is available in many locations here in the Keys. Right, Mark? Mm -hmm. um, we have testing, of course, at AIDS Help right there. Uh, if you, if you want to call us, my number, 305-296-6196. Uh, um, I'm going, t after our interview today, mm -hmm. to Fisherman's Hospital to mm -hmm. uh, do testing there every Wednesday from 12 to 3. We test at Trinity Church also um, Martin Luther King Pool uh, at the Metropolitan Community Church on Tuesdays mm -hmm. from 11 till 2 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of opportunities. If you're around Key West, you may see our safe sex wallets in all the uh, bars and locations, uh, guest houses. Mm -hmm. They have all the information right there inside the wallet. Yes, you guys are all over town. Yeah, and we are. now the big thing, Mark, is today's actually a big day for AIDS, HIV. Today uh, is the day, as they say <laughs> here in Key West. Today is National Gay Men's HIV AIDS Awareness Day. This is the fifth anniversary of that event, which was uh, started by the National Association of People with AIDS, um, really fostered by the uh, CDC in Atlanta, Centers for Disease Con Control. And the focus is really to make the uh, community aware. We're doing everything that we can to fight back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, our numbers, uh, numbers of, you know, uh, men who have died from AIDS uh, since the, the outset of this, 300,000. Think about those numbers. Mm -hmm. That's really scary. So today, uh, since this thing is continuing, and you know, especially since it's, it's affecting young people, which I just think is, you know, it's just absurd that mm -hmm. this is still happening. Um, we're taking to the streets with our big event. Coming you know. up this weekend, right? Coming <laughs> it's our up big this event. Saturday. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tell us about this event. Um, the event that we're doing to, um, to celebrate National Gay Men's HIV AIDS Awareness Day is the Gay to Bay Sachet. Gay to Bay Sachet. Okay. What a name right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first ever of its kind. Um, it was an idea that I came up with. Uh, I was kind of inspired by, because uh, I lived in the Bay Area for a while. They used to have the Bay to Breakers race from the East Bay in San Francisco out to the ocean. And um, it's a costumed race, and I thought, you know what, this could work for us right here in Key West. And I'm hoping that this builds on itself and that we do this every year and it gets bigger and bigger. But what we're doing is we're, we're uh, all starting at the southernmost buoy right down there at the southernmost point. Um, we'll meet down there at 1.30. Uh, 
on Saturday, this coming Saturday, be there. That's uh, September the 29th, be there. Um, we're going to lead off with a trolley from City View Trolley. City View is the greatest company. Uh, they're new here in Key West, but they do such a wonderful job. And uh, they've been gracious enough to donate uh, a trolley for us so that if people can't sashay across <laughs> the island, that they can ride in the trolley. Mm -hmm. And of course, the sashay is a nice, slow uh, strut with a purpose. A strut right? with a purpose. <laughs> right. I love it. Mom. Exactly. It's a That's strut true. with a purpose. So do you have to wear a costume? To go uh, to we would hope you wear a costume. Uh, well, we hope you wear something. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> it is Key West, so I'm hoping that people show up wearing something. Mm -hmm. We're really pushing that boas, you know, feather boas. Um, you know, just get out there. I'm hoping that it's as goofy and as fun as it can be. Mm -hmm. Stilts, pogo sticks, roller skates. Um, Put wheels on a lawn chair and come on down. I love it. You that know? doesn't sound too hard to and do. And here's what they have to do. Mm -hmm. When we start, we're going to go down Duval Street with police escorts. Mm -hmm. And then they have to stop at Bourbon Street Pub, pick up a safe sex kit. So we're getting safe sex kits into people's hands, which mm -hmm. is important. And inside your safe sex kit, not only are three condoms and information about testing, but also a number. And when we will proceed from there on to Mallory Square, when we get to Mallory Square, we'll be drawing numbers. If your number is drawn, you win a prize. Oh. How about that? Okay. <laughs> I'm intrigued. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good prizes, too. Our grand prize is a, um, a two-night stay for two at a local resort uh, at uh, Alexander's. And I'm so excited. I'm just, I really want this to happen. Well, this sounds great. How many people do you expect to be there? Uh, I think about, let's see, 15,000. No, <laughs> not really. That would be wonderful, right? Uh, being the first, first ever of its kind, I think, you know what? I, I don't know. I'm hoping between 80 and 150, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. I hope you get that number, and hopefully our viewers so can too. get out there and help, because, again, this is all about raising awareness for HIV. And That's HIV. right. We're fighting. We're fighting back. Play safe. Remember, risky sex means that your last HIV test doesn't mean anything. Okay? Get tested. Summer, winter, spring, and fall. Get tested. Play safe. Thank you so much for being on the show. You're more than morning. welcome. Thank you. Meeting. Thank you so much. All right. That's going to do it for me this morning, everyone. I thank you for tuning in today. Please join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.